Second time around, selection hills obviously went well, but then you were on unknown territory in or in unknown territory, the jungle. How did you how did you fare there before ultimately passing through into twenty two SAS? Yeah, quite uh, again. So uh, as I alluded to, Connor was born. Uh, Connor was actually about five days old um, when I went on selection. So the next time I saw him, it, it was six months old. <laughs> Um, uh, obviously because I had past selection, but, it, uh, the, the jungle phase is by far. So I was very lucky on the, the hill phase this time, um, purely because I, I got to the start of test week with no injuries, no tweaks, no, and that's the aim of the game and SA selection. If you get to, get to test week with no injuries, you then give yourself a great chance of actually passing, uh, if that makes sense. So. Uh, we were flying, uh, and and it and it went really well. So and lucky enough, really, to 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 pass. And I say lucky because there are, there are a lot of people that fail SES selection, not because they're, they're idiots or you know wasters or something like that. It's purely because their their bodies give out uh, and uh, they get injured uh, and stuff like that. Now these people would make fantastic SES soldiers without a shadow of doubt but they've been really unlucky and they, they get injured. So I always, always class that bit um, that, you know, I was lucky enough to get through that bit um, and then got to the jungle. Now, unfortunately with the jungle, it's, it's the hardest part of selection bar none, uh, because not only is it physically demanding, it it's mentally draining as well. And, uh, and because of, of Connor, you know, I, I had to put everything, you know, Kim, my wife, uh, my newborn son, I, I had to totally ignore that um, because if you don't and you start thinking about family life, um, it puts you in a bad place um, because the jungle is such a, uh, such an atmosphere, really, and, and uh, you just need to be focused on on getting yourself through selection. And I know, and I know that sounds very... Uh, very selfish uh, in a way, but 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 it's just the way it is. You know, you can't you can't fanny about really and and start thinking family um, while you're preparing to do something in the jungle. And bizarrely, um, uh, a, a lad came over to me uh, one afternoon. We just finished, um, uh, you know, walk through the walk through the jungle. <laughs> a run through the jungle, more like. Um, but he came up to me and uh, started talking. Uh, and try to engage uh, in family conversation. And I had no time for it at all and said, listen, mate, you're, you're talking to the wrong person. Um, no interest. Unbeknown to me, I think this was a bit of a cry for help uh, from him um, because he was having second thoughts uh, about whether or not he, he should stay there. And the next day, um, he actually handed all his kit in and, and he was gone. Uh, he decided that it wasn't for him. Now, Do you think there's anything you could have said to him that would have changed the outcome? Or do you think his mind was made up given the fact he was actually asking the question in the first place? Absolutely. Yeah, I think I think he just wanted to get uh, confirmation from someone else uh, that, that it wasn't the be-all and end-up. But unfortunately... Uh, you know, I was the other way, you know, it was, I'm not interested. Uh, and, and in a way, I, uh, selfishly, I'm glad I, I actually didn't engage in conversation um, because it, it, it is very off-putting. You know, your mind has got to be 100% uh, on the job in hand in, in the jungle environment. Uh, and any any distraction above that uh, could very, be very detrimental to you passing or failing. Uh, if that makes sense, and and again, the, you know, it, it it went really well, and unfortunately, we had a fatality uh, in the jungle, um, and it wasn't one of the one of the guys who was on selection, uh, but we had a, an accidental shooting uh, of um, of one of the volunteers, uh, military guy who volunteered to come over to Brunei uh, to act as the enemy, uh, and he was unfortunately uh, accidentally shot. Uh, shot and killed. So, so that was a bit of a bit of a culture shock, uh, to be honest. You know that we're in we're in a training environment, uh, and uh, and all of a sudden we've got a fatality. Uh, but as it transpired, um, I soon got used to that um, because the SES, without a shadow of doubt, you train uh, for realism, uh, and and you have to, uh, if that makes sense. So, so you're doing everything right on that that line. 
uh, or being very realistic uh, because, uh, you know, the old adage, uh, train, uh, train hard, fight easy, uh, comes to mind, uh, uh, if that makes sense. So uh, it certainly wasn't the, the first and the last uh, fatality that we were going to see uh, in training. Uh, but unfortunately, that, that's just the... Uh, you know the 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 beast that you're in uh, and what you've volunteered for, uh, but but it was a bit of a bit of a culture shock, uh, you know, to to be carrying a uh, a fatality uh, off the off the training area. Uh, 